Hi guys, um, so I'm going to do another video. What I'm going to show you in this video is how to get um, stock data using Alpha Vantage API and put that data into a data frame and CSV file. Um, so first we're going to create our project. So basically what I'm going to be using for the data frame is a new a relatively new library from Microsoft called Microsoft.data.analysis. So you can manipulate data frames to do analysis like you would in Pandas. And so remember, it's barely new and it's not fully fleshed out yet, but um, I'm sure it'll be very good and fast once it is. So we're going to open our, con we're going to create a console app. Let's call it um, stock project. Let's create that. Okay, just waiting for that application to be created. So as you know, we've got our main program, where everything will run out of. And what we're going to do now first is we're going to create a connection like object. So we're going to call it public class AV connection. Okay. It's going to have this. Uh, it's going to have the uh, private read only string underscore API key. And that's going to be the uh, API key for the URL. Then we're going to create a constructor, public AV connection string API key. Usually you wouldn't want your um, API keys to be exposed in this project, but this is just a demo. So normally you'd hide it somewhere. And whether it be like a JSON file, text file, wherever. So we've got the API key, and now what we're going to do, we're going to create a void method. So we're going to call this public void save CSV from URL. The string is going to be the symbol, the ticker symbol. So now we're going to create a web request, HTTP web request, rec equals, and It's going to come available the library for it. HTTP web request. Web request. Dot create. And in here, we're going to put our URL. So it's going to be HTTPS. This will be our URL that will. Um, connect to the Alpha Vantage API and get the data that we want. So we're going to request the data to here. We're going to have a dollar sign and an at, because it's a raw string, and we're going to put parameters inside it, inside the string. So www.alphavantage.co slash query function equals time underscore series underscore daily and symbol equals curly brackets our symbol parameter and api key equals curly brackets this dot underscore API key. And the data type is equal to CSV. So that's that. Then we're going to create another one. So HTTP web response RESP is equal to bracket HTTP web response. Another thing as well, so apologies if um, the pausing, I've, I'm using my phone as a second screen again. So um, yeah, that's why there might be awkward pauses from time to time. So just apologies for that in advance. So we're going to get that response. From that request, we're going to get a response from it. Then what we're going to do with that response is we're going to use stream reader.
equals new stream reader OSP dot get response stream. And then we're going to do we're going to get a string called results. Basically, we're going to store all of the um, text from the stream reader into the string. So sr dot read to end. Then we're going to close that resource. Then we're going to do we're going to write it to a text file. So file dot write all text. Let's call it stock data dot csv. The contents of that file is going to be our results. Cool. So now what we're going to do. We need to install the um, library, the Microsoft Data Analysis. So we do that. We go to Tools, NuGet Packet Manager, um, Manage NuGet Packet, Packet, Manage NuGet Packages for Solution, and then we're going to browse. So then we're going to type in Microsoft Data Analysis, and we're going to install this library. You can see it's fairly new. The latest version is 0 0.4. I'm going to install that. Okay, and then we're going to uh, reference it here. So using Microsoft.data. Analysis. Analysis. Okay. Cool. And then what we're going to do? Uh, let's remove the console.write line. We're going to connect to our alpha vantage objects. So alpha vantage con equals new AV connection. Our API key, we're going to call it demo. Now what we're going to do, we're going to um, save the CSV file. So con from this object, con dot save CSV from URL. And the string symbol we're going to put in is IBM. Then what we're going to do is create a data frame from that um, CSV that we saved. So data frame, let's call it DF, is equal to data frame dot load CSV. And the file is called, uh, I believe, stock data, stock data dot CSV. Let's just double check that. Yep. Then we're going to write out so console dot write line and data frame. So I should basically this should all basically request data from Alpha Vantage, save it down as a CSV, and then read the CSV into a data frame. If there's no uh, errors, this should print a data frame to the terminal. And here we go. As you can see, this is our data frame from Alpha Vantage. The last, um, well, it's, it's actually shortened a bit, but the data is there. It's the um, prices from Alpha Vantage. So this goes up to June, but there's a lot more in the uh, actual object itself. It's a shortened version. As you can see, uh, because the timestamp's very long, it's um, overlapped with the open. I'm sure this will be fixed in time. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much it as a data frame. And we can also see that if we put a breakpoint here and then run the project again, we should see basically that this data frame should have at least 100, well, have 100 rows from the uh, response. Um, did I run that? Yeah. So breakpoint should activate shortly. Okay, timestamp, rows, and as you can see, the rows.count is 100. And we can view the data inside those rows. This is row zero, um, which is another way to see it. Yeah, here, but the data is all inside it, is what I'm getting at. Okay, cool. And I'm going to do a, maybe a part two, or I'm going to attach this video to another one. I'll show you the other method of getting the stock prices into a data frame. So that's all for now. And thank you guys.